My name is Kendra V. Um, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. My mom's from Lincolnton, North Carolina, and my father is from Medina, Saudi Arabia. When I was eight years old, my mother actually converted to Islam. It was a very confusing time, and it kind of was the time where I just pretty much decided that I just wouldn't get close to God at all because I was just very confused and almost a little scared too, just because of the narrative around like making that choice. And um, even when I was younger, kind of always questioned just my greater purpose. I always kind of struggled with that, just the, the question of purpose and identity. I wanna say it's about 2020. I remember every day kind of just praying to God just about some things that I was questioning at the time and just asking him like to really reveal himself to me. Also had a friend who just kind of invited me to Bible studies and things like that. And I just began to build up my relationship with God. And um, then the next step really was going to Catalyst that Union put on in, in November. I got there, I parked and I was, I was a little late um, and the greeters were there and they were just so nice to me. Actually, it felt really like welcoming. So just kind of that discomfort and awkwardness of just being there just kind of like went away once I interacted with just so many nice people. I didn't know any of the songs, but I was like, oh wow, my spirit feels really good. Like, so I was trying to follow like the, the, the words on the screen. So um, it was really interesting, but I just, I don't know, my spirit felt really, it just felt really good. Like it felt at peace. Like it felt like I was where I needed to be at. There was a point where they asked like, if you wanted to be prayed for to come up to the front. And I just felt like God told me to just go up to the front. I, I felt like God was telling me to just, just do it. So I, in that moment, I made that decision um, to give my life to Christ. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Um, that decision was uh, really hard. My dad was the first person in our family and tribe to marry outside of our tribe. So he was the first person to marry an American. And there was a lot of, um, a lot of pressure behind that. I would be the first person in my tribe and in my bloodline um, from my dad's side to convert from Islam to Christianity, well, to, to not be Muslim, really. There is a culture of shame. There is a culture of um, disowning um, those who bring shame to the family. So I was really scared about, um, about that. I really felt like God used Union as a vehicle to give me community and kind of give me family. You know, with me making that decision, things with my family were a little weird and tumultuous and um, but with having union I've just met so many amazing people and grown in just operating in my anointing with the group that me and my friends started called Off the Fence which is a group for women who have made the decision to um, get closer to God and just live a lifestyle that reflects that relationship that they have with God. So it's been a great experience. I've really been able to walk in what I feel like God has called me to walk into. Um, and I feel like God has definitely used Union as a vehicle to, to get me there. So it was like I gave God my yes and then the ball just started rolling. <laughs>